Famous Autopsies Part 91, George Michael. George Michael wasn't just a singer and songwriter, but was and is a cultural icon. He also sold over 120 million records and won two Grammys. Tragically, he was found dead in his home on a day when many were opening gifts and celebrating. His partner discovered that he had died in his sleep on Christmas morning in 2016. There weren't any noticeable warning signs. He hadn't been severely sick. There wasn't any evidence of physical trauma. Whatever killed him appeared to be silent. His first autopsy was classified as inconclusive. His liver was enlarged with fat deposits. This is a common condition, especially in older males. The left ventricle of his heart was dilated, which means it had widened. The middle layer of his heart, the myocardium, was enlarged. None of these issues on their own appeared to be progressed enough to be fatal. In 2017, a second autopsy was performed with much of the same findings, only this time the coroner was confident in what caused his death. It wasn't a singular issue. His dilated cardiomyopathy alongside the myocarditis was powerful enough to cause his death. Myocarditis is commonly caused by autoimmune diseases or infections. He may have caught a virus and was unaware, which could have triggered it. It sadly weakened his heart enough to give out. 